that are required. So in the previous lesson, I showed you a very simple API to how to get the tag on an element for mobile so you can still see the log here, right? So uh, in this lesson, I want to share you how to handle uh, a token button. So what is a token button? So if you go to the app, or you, you open the demo application and then you click on the prompts uh, label, it will navigate you to this screen. So on this screen, you see the switch button here. So sometimes we call it the token button here. So if you click here, you can see click on uh, each change value here. So the main purpose of this lesson uh, that I will share you how to handle this, the, this type of element on mobile screen and then uh, additional we will try to get the, uh, the tag uh, from this label to see whether we switch uh, the, you know we switch the status of this button correct or not okay so now first thing first create a new class on the API going in bucket sheet and then you name it something like uh, handle uh, you can name something like I think handle to go button that should be good enough uh, for you when you open and then you can uh, understand this class uh, does something relevant okay so you create a main method inside so inside here first thing but you need to have an appium driver instance so in this case Appium driver equal Appium driver uh, extended here, and we will get the Appium driver. So remember that you need to specify that we want to give something related to mobile element here. Okay, mobile element. Okay, so before doing anything, uh, we need to list out. So this step that we need to uh, launch an Appium uh, session. Okay, and let me try to remove the typo here. So the second step that we, okay, still have typo. Let me try to, uh, <clears throat> so the second step that we will try to click on, uh, click on the, uh, we call it the forms label, <coughs> excuse me, the form label now. Uh, before we click on the toggle, uh, where is it here? Before we click on the switch button here, the toggle button here, I just want to get the value before we uh, we toggle it, and then we toggle it, and then we get the value to see whether we have the correct tag here, okay, to check whether we can switch uh, correctly or not. So, get the uh, label, uh, maybe something, get the toggle. Uh, label value, uh, label value before, uh, uh, before maybe before interacting uh, with the um, with the switch. Okay, and then a lot of tight spot today, uh, and then uh, we will try to um, click on the toggle button. So. In this case, uh, you see the toggle button display at a switch button here, but the way we handle it is very simple. We just do the click. We just do the click API that we already knew before, okay? But be because uh, sometimes you will uh, get confused uh, if the first time you you run the automation test on the mobile. So that's why I, I created this, uh, this lesson and you can try it try to see that's uh, what's going on and how to handle it. That's it, okay? But actually, it's very simple. So after I click on the toggle button that I want to check, get the toggle label value after interacting with the switch to see whether we have a different value, okay? Uh, and I think that's wrong. So click on the form label here. Uh, what I want to do that, I will declare a mobile uh, element here. So I will call it form uh, label equal appium driver and in this case i will find element by accessibility id and if you still remember its value is form okay we already have that in uh, maybe handle multiple metric element or something like that okay now we get the toggle label so just go back here and start uh the appium desktop to inspect uh that's uh uh element on the page okay 
uh, actually we we don't call it bait but I think it doesn't matter because we are testing on the mobile so um, mostly we call it on the screen yeah but it doesn't matter uh, okay just wait uh, a little more here you can see that the FPM server from FPM desktop is trying to unlock the screen um, it's always try to unlock the screen uh, even the device screen is not locked because it's still try to check first. So if the device is locked the screen, if you try to unlock and do the rest thing to launch the target application. <clears throat> and so, um, by the way, sorry for any background noise around okay? So now here we go. Uh, let me try to do on the visor app here because it will be faster for us. So uh, here, and then I just try to refresh the uh, latest screenshots from FBM desktop here so if you don't have a visor actually I think you don't need a visor you can regularly try to switch to the screen first and then you can try to refresh the latest screen here okay so now let me try to uh, inspect this one first uh, this button so you have something related to the accessibility ID so we have the content description here as well okay so we will try to, okay, we will do this step later. Uh, we will call something like mobile element. Uh, we call this one, this one is quick element. Equal uh, should be MPM driver by element by accessibility up by element by uh, accessibility ID. Let me put something related to accessibility ID here. And then I put the value inside. After that, I will call switch element dot click very easy, right? So it's display again, it's display as a, a token button. But the way we handle it to switch it, we need to click. So sometime before we click on it, we need to check whether is it on the correct state or not. So that's why I want to get the value before we interact. So in your business uh, application, maybe you need to get whether you need to uh, you can have if else a uh, statement and then you can decide based on the label value okay so now just go back to appium desktop here and then we try to inspect this view uh, so this view click again here mm. so here you can see this view we have the content description here switch text again and we don't have any id so let's try to come copy this one and then uh, we will declare mobile uh, mobile element here so I will call it this with tech uh, element here equal appium driver dot uh, by element by accessibility ID again and I paste the value try to remove the uh, slot end here and then I want to print out uh, the label tag value before clicking here so I will view the get tag again and then I will print out here so I want to put some prefix here uh, so maybe this is the uh, label tag before interacting with uh, with toggle buster okay now maybe I will try to copy this one and then I will put it here because uh, actually um, to try to delete this one actually it will be the same okay so just the same element here nothing changed you see nothing changed here so this should be uh, after and I want to do it something like <clears throat> after command zip u and this is before command zip u to make it uppercase okay i think everything is now okay so this is the form label and i forgot to click on the form label so just add the click here okay so now uh before running the script um you need to check whether you have the fpm server started on the port 47 23 now you click on the run button here and then you click here to run it okay so because if you click run here it's still uh, still remember the old one and 
then it will trigger the O1 and run it. So you see here, everything we put in the main methods here, but don't worry, we will have um, the text ng uh, lesson, uh, many lesson related to the text ng, and then we can uh, handle the text methods uh, easier, okay? So now just go to open the FPM server log here, and this is the visual application to see what will be going on. Just trying to use the bootstrap up to control the device here. Okay, here we go. Uh, now, if you click on the form, and then you see it just switch here. So you see the latest for text before interacting is uh, with the go button is uh, click to turn or uh, click to turn the switch on, and then after that we have something like click on the turn the switch off. Okay. So let me uh, try to summarize again. So the main purpose start how to handle something related to the two go button. So for the token button, you just need to use the click API that you already knew in the very beginning lesson for API learning here. And for some reason, uh, you know, you need to check whether you are on the uh, correct status or not. So there are two ways to check. You can check something related to the text display, or you can check based on, you know what, based on the, uh, here, based on the, uh, we call it something related to the status of the token button. Let me try to click again, and then you can see we have something related to the status here. So I think this is something like check it for here. Let me try to click on it. Uh, maybe, okay, uh, okay, let me try to. Uh, refresh the resource and then I just want to show you about its status here so okay you see here the status now is uh, let me see just click on it again this one right okay let me try to check uh, you see uh, is it enable to uh, and select this is for let me try to Turn it uh, back. Okay, let me try to turn it back here. And then I refresh the resources. Uh, let's see, click here on the switch button here and check the, check the value. Let me see. Uh, here, okay. It's just our focus immediately. Here, let's try to scroll down and then you can see something enable it to uh, tag it off. Yeah, we just have something related to the, the tag here. So uh, this is the tag and yeah, it seems for this demo application, we don't have uh, any other additional information related to this toggle button, uh, toggle button, but uh, for your application or other application, maybe they do add some, you know, some state here. And the second way that you can check the state here. So just based on the context that the application that you are testing on, and then you can decide the logic whether you need to to interact with the toggle button or not. Okay. So I think this is very much for this lesson. Bye for now, and see you in the next.